guys welcome to my channel this is Chelsea and this is your daily love guidance reading hope all is well on your end and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel I feel really blessed for your love and support and you guys oh my goodness just the last video it was up to seven something K views oh my goodness and all the likes uh, I really really appreciate that Aquarius and I'm so happy to know that you know you guys resonated with my reading and I hope it helped in some way shape or form and Aquarius today we are going to find out how the person you're thinking about currently feel about you so uh, please bear in mind also that this is a general reading and it will be impossible for all of you to relate to it also time is fluid so this reading is timeless and you could likely resonate with this reading in the past currently or in the future okay now let's get to your reading spirits and angels please show me important accurate love messages for Aquarius today how does this person Aquarius is thinking about feel about them currently please show me Please show me more. <laughs> okay. Chris, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed. It could either be you or this person, although the question is how do they feel about you right currently but it could very well be reversed as well as well as how you feel about them so got a king of swords in reverse so Aquarius this is you it's an Aquarius Libra Gemini energy here unless you're also dealing with another air sign however what I'm seeing here is they feel that you are very angry okay or have a lot of resentments towards them with the king of swords in reverse here and there's the ace of pentacles they see you as someone um very solid someone that they could actually that they want i feel more so to start a new beginning and this time around um they want to offer you something solid like a solid new beginning here or they see you as someone whom is very precious to them okay and we've got the two of pentacles here um again it has something to do I cannot help but but put these two cards together right there's one pentacle and there's two pen, there are two pentacles here I feel like there is some, some of you could it be a third party okay juggling between two person one two three person one two I mean including yourself it's like three person here so mm. I'm also sensing from juggling between two persons, finally knowing which one they want, which one is precious. I feel like that's what they see uh, about you or what you see about them. Roles can be reversed, okay? We've got the magician in reverse here as well, but also at the same time, they feel that it's so, so hard to manifest this back. To manifest you back into their life here okay but this could also mean the magician in reverse you could have cut them off because maybe they could have deceived you or they could have done something okay um, that was unacceptable for you okay the magician card is a trickster it could be a manipulator it could be a con man a con woman or somebody who could have shown you uh, what you wanted to see okay and not they are true colors and then you're finally seeing it and you're just finally seeing their true colors and you just decided to cut them off with the fool in reverse it's also showing that um, maybe they have made a choice here to take a risk here and that I was the wrong move right wrong risk here um, being a fool so the fool is only to me a fool when it's in a reverse position, not when it's in upright. In an upright position, and more so like a um, a fool, but you know, taking risks, but more so a calculated risk. Okay, like a positive risk, um, something that they strongly feel very positive about. However, it's in reverse here, so it was an uncalculated risk, and they could have 
made this decision, okay, of taking this risk, but it's a reversal. It didn't turn out to be what they expected, and in turn, they have infuriated, 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 infuriated. Oh my gosh! How come I can't get that? Like made you angry, basically. I'm trying to use infuriate, but I was trying to say infuriate. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. You know what I mean, Chris. You're smart. You know that. So, all right. You know what I mean. So we've got the nine of wands here. Also, it's it's in reverse. Okay, Chris. If this is not you, I I mean, they could see. Oh, maybe this is what they want. Okay, they want you to um, sort of stop going back and forth about whether you should let them in or not but it's also could there's a sense of wanting you to put down your guards you know your guards could have been up and they want you to put down your guards and and again I'm sensing that they're trying to uh, for some of you trying to convince you that you're not making that that you know it's like I'm hearing, uh, I promise you, you, if you take me back, you know, uh, it's not going to be a mistake this time around. That's what I'm getting as well. They're trying to convince you that. But with a magician in reverse, uh, I don't trust. I don't trust this person <laughs> at all. You guys know that. If you've been watching my video, you know that I don't trust the magician, especially when it's in a reverse position. And you know that because you, uh, you've already seen the truth, okay? Now you're in reverse. The king of swords now is in reverse. It doesn't matter king or queen, okay? It's not gender specific. You don't want to be a fool again or being treated like a fool again or making the wrong choice in taking the, back this offer and and then in turn they juggle you again with somebody else okay that is a wounded there is a wounded warrior right here with the nine of uh, nine of wands here in reverse so someone does not want to make the same mistake again I'm getting that as well don't want to get wounded to feel like you have to constantly look over your shoulders if this person is are they up to no good? Are they doing whatever they did, that they did before to me? It's obvious that you you have cut this person off, okay, for whatever they did here. But definitely, uh, rightfully so, you know, I would have cut this person too off as well because with the magician in reverse, they were definitely being very deceptive. They have deceived you, okay, uh, or lied to you, or manipu manipulated you. Okay, let's see more. Yeah. Some of you could be a third party, like I mentioned here, because see, there is a three of pentacles here, right? And three and three in total. So I'm seeing definitely it's a, it's a third party situation, okay? For most of you, okay? Third party, if, you know, not doesn't always mean another lover it could also mean another like external factor uh, another situation or other people meddling into this situation causing it to end for some of you but for most of you what i'm seeing here they could have put you in a third party and betrayed you here okay or you them roles can be reversed we've got the 10 um, swords here so it's showing it was a very painful ending but it's also showing that somebody wanting to manifest you back into their life, but I don't trust their intention here, okay? They're trying to convince you, I'm sensing like, you know, this time I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make the same mistake again, all that. If you take me back, you are definitely not making a mistake this time around, and my offer is real, blah, blah, blah. And you just go like, you know, but I'm not sure, 
not sure if I should let my guards down this time around. I don't want to be put back in this position again with the Ten of Swords here. Or it could also mean that, you know, uh, they might just end up all, when you put your guards down, they just might end up going, doing the same thing before juggling between you and someone else with the Two of Pentacles here. We've got the Three of Pentacles, so it could mean trying to fix something, okay? It's trying to fix something uh, here, uh, trying to work things out after the ending here but this could also mean i'm hearing a suggestion to seek counseling for some of you like seeking counseling from uh, to me that's like therapy seeking counseling advice from a third party third party as in like from a counselor therapist or something like that and we've got the knight of swords in reverse here as well so Aquarius, you you are, this is still your energy, right, Aquarius? I feel like you are the one feeling really, really betrayed here. The Nine of Swords in reverse has uh, shown that although you were very angry, right, but now you're just like, I feel like you don't really want to put in any more energy into this, okay? And you're not letting, you're not letting them back in because we've got the Seven of Wands here. You're just standing your ground and you're like, you know, you're not, crossing my boundaries again not letting you come near me again and i'm saying no okay this is also saying no and standing your ground um you know keeping your principles your integrity intact here oh gosh and then the tower in reverse yeah so it shows that maybe they want to do some damage control here trying to fix things with you right but Aquarius, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. I'm sensing this is you. I feel like, oh, thank goodness. And this is you. I knew this is you. Um, before I even saw the star card, the Queen of Pentacles, I saw that right away. I could feel this is you. This is you. So uh, Aquarius, you are just going to focus on your money. You just focus gonna focus on yourself making uh, yourself comfortable your surrounding comfortable making your surrounding beautiful making yourself beautiful focusing on what that truly truly matters to you okay and we've got the star card here you are going to heal and you are Aquarius right here yesterday's reading you were in a uh, reverse position didn't I tell you that you're going to be in an upright position you know that you should be in an upright position Thank goodness. Now we're seeing that you are in an upright position now. So Aquarius, although it hurts, right? This could also be them feeling now, you know, um, now the, how do you say, the shoe is now on the other foot, you know, possibly because you're not letting them back in, okay? This energy is also, I'm sensing a lot of very, very extremely stern energy on your end here. You're like, no means no, no means no and um, not even you know like knight of swords is the fastest card but when it's in reverse here it's showing that it was very fast moving initially and possibly angry and some harsh words could have been exchanged here or a lot of anger uh, aggressiveness however it's in reverse now so you're just like although still angry but just not pursuing it anymore that's what I'm getting not really pursuing it and you now you're pursuing yourself you know but the Queen of Pentacles sometimes they do appear as sad to me okay uh, as well as Queen of Cups because her head is down although her head is down and it's actually focusing on the Pentacle here but to me there's a sense a little bit of a sadness here knowing that you know what um, it's also for me it's an earth sign right so you are very grounded in a way uh, funny because you're an air sign Aquarius but uh, I'm sensing you as very grounded very earthy as well you possibly could have earth in your chart as well because we all have multiple signs in our chart right but different energy but I'm feeling you embodying this energy you are like pulling yourself down back on earth you know and just telling yourself and knowing exactly what to do right now and more so uh, whatever that you are doing that you've decided to do is actually it has a lot to do with you trying to heal and uh, putting uh, knowing exactly uh, what your priorities are you know which is absolutely paramount uh, priority is you and you and everything else that can help you survive in this 
real world, okay? In this real, real, very real world that is extremely realistic. Uh, to me, the Queen of Pentacles is someone very realistic, right? I wouldn't say she is someone uh, greedy or anything. No, not at all. Someone who knows the importance of stability, the importance of uh, re uh, reliability. This is what you want. You want that. You want a life that you can rely on, that you can trust, that you could build a foundation that has a future, that is solid, that is strong, and you know that, and this is what you want for yourself. If you cannot, if, if you haven't met anyone who can embody the same qualities that you have as a person, I feel like you would rather just be by yourself. You know, you rather just focus on yourself first and your healing before you let anybody else come back into your beautiful uh, environment here that you've created for yourself. This is not just about on the outside, it's about on the inside, inside out, okay? You, I can see, you're absolutely beautiful and we've got the star card here. So the star quality, now they are seeing you, they feel that you are someone who has even renewed yourself, right? You have shed off your old skin and I feel like you have come down, back down to earth and knowing, not seeing that you are up there before, but in a way, you are your air sign, so you will always be like up there, right? Um, however, there is something I am sensing that you have sort of learned from this experience. Um, it has taught you what what truly is important to you. What what re what what is it that you really want in a relationship or for yourself in general? It is someone whom you can rely, whom you can trust, someone whom is like you, okay? Because to me, compatibility is very important. You guys know I say this all the time. Being compatible is very important in all relationships. I feel that this person isn't compatible with you, of course, acting like a stupid fool here and trying to manipulate or trying to be deceptive here. not really at your level, not at all, at all. They are just starting to, to for me the full card, right? They're just, they're just starting this new journey in their life possibly, and they feel like the world is their oyster, and but then they find, <laughs> and they become greedy as well, that's what I'm getting, they become greedy. And also there's a sense of, you know, just playing games, yeah, that's a game, it's a very dangerous game that they are playing, that's what I'm getting as well, and you, here you are, they could see you as the star, okay, someone unreachable, someone who has star qualities, for some of you, you could either have a lot of, you know, admirers, followers, and people look up to you, and what you do, and how good you are at, at it, you know, and also the star is one of a kind it's you know uh, and it's also unreachable because it's like if you look at the stars they're like all the way up there and not everybody can get close to you not everybody will have the the privilege to get close to you but this person did right but then they they took you for granted okay they didn't see your qualities then all that they possibly they saw but maybe they just Eh, some people are like that. When they have something, they don't treasure it until it's, it's gone, until it's lost. And now you're back in your energy. So Aquarius, I'm so happy to see that today you are in an upright position here. That means you already know what you're doing. You are actually almost got a healing Okay, or on your way, on your way, because you know the ten of swords is still in upright position. I'm sensing it's more like them. Now they are feeling. Now the shoe is on the other foot. Okay, now they're feeling that. Now the table is being turned. Before that, I'm sensing it was you was going through this ten of swords here, but now it is them. 
you know, it's the after effect. And um, watching how you shine now, watching how, watching what you're doing right now, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles, like how successful you are and they're just not your match at all, okay, Aquarius, and I've said this many times before, they want to do some damage control, blah, blah, blah. I feel like they're wasting their time, okay, Aquarius, because you're in your power right now, and you know what you're doing, you know what is right, what is, I'm not saying what is wrong, but you know what is right for you, okay, what is right for you, and definitely this person is of no match of you, all right? Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I also do private reading. All of my information is in the description box below. If nothing else, as you guys know, I post your video every single day. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care, Aquarius. Bye.